move with a spirit of God and conquer or cross over the flesh that comes on your way. Be conscious and move with the Lord who is in you. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7 we read, Though we are the clay part, in this clay part we carry the presence of the Lord with us. In today's first reading we read, God created man out of mud, but he breathed his breath into him. And the Spirit of God began to operate in him. And Adam did notice that. When God brought all the animals, birds, the Spirit in him made him to rejoice with all that. The intelligence in him began to operate. He could be able to give name and remember them and call them by name. Every animal, thousands of animals, thousands of birds. But when the wisdom of God began to operate, he could call everything. But in the depth of his heart, they could not bring joy to him. God did notice what's happening to Adam. And then, when he recognized what's happening to him, immediately he made Adam to rest. Whenever we are disturbed, the Lord who is concerned about us make us to relax in his presence and when he is in deep rest he takes the bone which is close to the heart and makes of the beautiful person called the woman and brings her to him once again the spirit of God in him begins to operate in him and he begins to say the truth that she is the bone of my bones, the flesh of my flesh. He prophesies, though God did not tell him how she is made of. On the one hand, we always see the earthly constantly coming and attacking us. So many things do not satisfy us, make us happy. But we need to be conscious of the spirit of God. And with the spiritual presence, we have to move ahead in the fleshly discouragement, disappointments and all that matters. Jesus going from Janasarath to Tyre. Tyre is the region filled with Jews. And the Bible says he was disturbed, maybe, or tired, maybe, and we do not know. But the Bible says he didn't want anybody to disturb him. He wanted to be alone. In that moment, somebody comes and irritates him. Maybe for another, for many people it is an irritation. But for that woman is something different. The Bible says, the woman heard about Jesus. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, By hearing you build up your faith. Hearing about Jesus and the Bible says the woman heard about Jesus and she believed in Jesus 
and she came and surrendered herself to Jesus. She climbs in the spiritual realm in three stages. She heard about Jesus, the faith she received, and she believed in Jesus. She has accepted Jesus as someone to be part of her life. Someone who can conquer her problem. Someone who is the answer for her problem. That her daughter is affected with the evil spirit. And the evil spirit can be conquered only that by the divine spirit. She knew it. She recognized the divine presence in Jesus. And she surrenders herself in love. Now in that woman, faith and love are operating. And Jesus looks at her and says, See, I have come for this juice and I cannot take the children's bread and throw it to the puppies. This is a saying among the Jews that I cannot give something for which it meant for and give it to something else. The time I have kept for particular things, I should use it. I should do justice. I cannot simply dilute it with so many things. I will never achieve anything. But the woman, she was not hurt because she is moving in the spiritual realm. She is filled with the faith in Jesus. She has a great desire of full of love that my daughter should be healed. Jesus is a person who can do that. Faith in Jesus and love for her daughter moves her far beyond the hurts that she receives in the flesh. While we are living in the world, the flesh will always pull us. But what is strong in us will begin to lead us. If we are moved in the in faith and moved in divine love, the love, the lust of this world or the flesh cannot conquer us. But when we do not fill us with the divine presence and divine love, divine faith, where we are not strong spiritually, the flesh conquers us. In this case of the woman, she heard about Jesus. The Bible says she believed in Jesus. She, he, she has surrendered herself to Jesus. She is in her full faith in the Lord. On the other hand, she is a woman of love. By all means, I want my daughter to be healed. A person who goes beyond herself to think of another, to receive any amount of hurt and wound, I don't care. By all means, I want my daughter to be healed. Faith and love. And Jesus looks at her and says, when she said, even the puppies will eat the food of the children, she says, he says, daughter, your faith is so strong. You are praying for your daughter. Now you have become God's daughter. Indeed, you are God's daughter. Your faith is great. Your love is great. Where there is faith and love, there is miracle. Who am I to stop that? Go. It has already happened. And that moment, the daughter is healed. In the first reading, we find when Adam was filled with faith and love, the Holy Spirit began to operate in him. He could call the animals by name. But when the wisdom, when the knowledge stops, love begins to operate. With the wisdom, with the knowledge, he could call the name everything. Intelligence is so strong. But he is not happy inside. And 
and God fills him with the love and make him to produce proceed with the love yes where the knowledge ends the love begins to operate my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord